So, I, I have a question for you. Yes. And I want you to be very honest with me. So, if I were to tell you to close your eyes, turn around with your back towards me, and I told you to fall back, <laughs> <laughs> just let go, just release yourself and fall back, would you do it? Uh... Hey, what's up everybody? This is Otis. This is Bronte. And we are going to talk a little bit about trust today. Trust, the word trust. You know, to us, the trust, uh, trust in our relationship, we've had to work on it and build it up. Um, and I think that's a part of the relationship is that when you meet someone and you begin to date and get to know each other, you've got to kind of have some moments where you test each other out to see if you are trustworthy. And I passed the test. You did. You did. Trust wasn't gained overnight. Um, it's something that has to be worked on. It's something mm -hmm. that is gained over time. I think everybody has a certain level of trust when they begin a relationship. Sure. Yeah. Um, but it's built over time. Yeah. Yeah, it does take time. I mean, and so when we started dating, um, I felt like I was dating her and all of her friends at first because <laughs> just to get out on a date with her, to take her out to eat, it was her, and she would always have one or two friends with her. Yep. And at some point, she almost lost me because I was like, I'm not going <laughs> to keep taking people out, and, and I'm not trying to date them. I'm trying to get to know you. But eventually, um, after a couple of dates, um, she finally let the, the walls down. And so that says something to me, too, is that, you know, sometimes we put walls up far too long, and, yeah. it, and we can lose someone that's really for us if we keep those walls up. So you need to be very cautious about having too many walls for too long. And, you know, I understand people have a past. So, you know, having a past could be difficult to get past. But if you're going to move forward in life, at some point, you're going to have to trust. And, you know, even in saying uh, people have a past, sometimes we bring those past hurts and those past trust issues into our current relationship. Yeah. And I can't make him suffer for the things that happen in previous relationships so it's important for us to be healed from those broken relationships or those failed relationships before we get into another relationship because the person we're with now you know perhaps they could be the one but because we are carrying that baggage from that previous relationship and we didn't allow those wounds to heal then we're making this new new person carry the weight and suffer for yeah. what the the old person did. Yeah. Yeah. And that's very dangerous because a lot of times we could, we could really be destroying something that's really great. Um, and so when you look at marriage, marriage requires us to trust. You're going to have to trust uh, when you get to the point where you're getting married. You know, it's an awful relationship when you cannot trust each other because you're going to always be concerned and wondering and trying to question things. And that's really no way to live in a relationship to where I've got to check your phone every five minutes and I've got to question you where you've been or right. where you're going. And that's kind of like being um, in a, fa a state of being in prison. Yeah. And, and nobody wants to be locked up in a relationship. So um, I'm glad I have my freedom uh, because we've worked over time to make sure that we build our trust. And then you have to work hard not to break that trust. Because once trust is broken, it's very hard to get it back to the place that it needs to be. Right. And sometimes not trusting the other person is not a, not even about them, per se. It could be because of your own insecurities. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes we have to do a self-check to see, is this me? You know, is this something that I'm lacking? Is it something that I'm insecure in? Mm -hmm. And whatever that thing is, is the, is the thing you need to fix and focus on so that you're not, again, making your, your partner, your, your husband, your wife, suffer because you're insecure about things within yourself. Yeah. So um, our goal, you know, as, as we are married is to continue to even build our trust in our relationship, even though that we're married now. Um, right. What we're all about is marriage. And so when we talk about that, you know, just because you get married doesn't mean that you don't still have to work on the relationship. And as we work on our relationship, we still build trust with each other day to day. Now you have to trust me to take out the trash. 
I have to trust you to make me a nice sandwich. <laughs> and we have to still trust each other. We have yeah. to continue to trust that, you know, what we have together, what we're building together, what we have built um, is strong and on a sure foundation. Um, trust is like the glue to a relationship. If you don't have that, that middle piece that holds everything together and binds it, then the relationship is, is going to be very difficult and probably head towards being nothing. Um, so make sure that you're working on your trust. That's true. Yeah. So I have uh, gained your trust, so you want to fall back and see what happens? Of course. I know you were never intentionally hurt. <laughs> That's right. Hey guys, so the, the point of our, our channel is to basically do a lot of relationship uh, discussions. It'll be a lot about God, a lot about relationships, a lot about marriage, a lot about family. And so if that's something that you can use and something that you like to hear, we ask you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to have videos out every week. Uh, and we'd love you to be a part of that and to discuss with us some of the things that you're even going through so that we can we can know how to direct these conversations. And so we look forward to you subscribing. So make sure you hit the subscribe button on YouTube, on our YouTube channel, Robinson House TV. And don't forget to click the bell as well because that's going to let you be notified. That's going to notify you when we get new videos placed out on YouTube on the channel. So we look forward to growing together with you. And until next time, God bless you and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you for watching.